Our herbal insight today takes us into some controversial waters. It does indeed. I mean, you wouldn't think a lovely plant like echinacea, which has been in use for centuries, could generate the national headlines, but it has. So we've asked our herbal expert, Mark Blumenthal, to help us sort through the confusion. The safety of echinacea is well established, but its efficacy is sometimes questioned because there's been so much publicity uh, promoting in the media some of these high-profile negative findings in some of the major medical journals. However, if you look at some of those studies, you find that there's flaws that in many ways invalidates the conclusions of the studies. In one of the most high-profile and impactful clinical studies that came out negative, published in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine, the dosage of echinacea and gustafolia extract used in that trial was one-third the dosage recommended by the World Health Organization, the Canadian government, and other respected bodies uh, regarding how much people should take. The research shows that echinacea helps improve immune system response, so it makes sense to use it at the first signs, first symptoms of a potential cold or flu for either preventing symptoms of cold or flu or reducing severity and duration of cold and flu when used at the appropriate time. One thing that herbalists and naturopathic physicians and other people who utilize echinacea frequently constantly suggest is that people should immediately use echinacea at the very first signs of a sore throat, that tickle in the throat, or the first sniffle. Waiting an extra day or two often is too late. Did I hear Mark say that one major study was based on only one-third the recommended dose of echinacea? You know, I talked to Mark about that, because you're exactly right, that happened. And he said it's like if you take a third of an aspirin and your headache doesn't go away, like, is that the fault of the aspirin? Yeah, I'm getting a headache just trying to keep all this straight. <laughs> what I know is the first sign of a cold or flu in our house, Judy and I both reach for the echinacea, and we found that if we started in time, it really does make a difference. Yep. If you have questions about echinacea, we have information from our friends at the American Botanical Council for you on the Healing Quest website.